Hello and welcome to this demonstration of using X headers with SMTP archiving in Enterprise Vault 1101. In this demo, we're going to look at how to add an X header to an email using a transport rule in Exchange 2010, and then index the contents of that X header so that it can be searched in Enterprise Vault Search or even Discovery Accelerator. So I'm starting out on my Exchange server and I'm in the Exchange Management Console and the first thing I want to do is to create a transport rule. So I find that under Organization and then Hub Transport. And choose over here New Transport Rule. So I want to choose sent to people. And the two users I want to choose are Davina and Diana. And then I want to set header with values. It's going to set an X header. So I need to say what the X header is going to be. So it's X hyphen department and the value I want to have for this header is pre-sales. So any emails it's going to send to Davina or Diana, it's going to add this X header called X department with a value of pre-sales. So create that transport rule. So I'm now going to switch back to my Enterprise Vault server. And in the admin console, what I want to do is to go into the policy which I created in the previous demonstration called SMTP user policy. Go into the X headers tab and add in my X department X header. So by default, it's looking for a string uh, and the value is a string and I want it to be searchable and retrievable. So that's good. Click OK and you'll notice that just changing that policy means I've got to restart the archiving task. I need to do that for pretty much any reason, changing the configuration of SMTP archiving. So restart the task. So I'm going to use OWA to send another email to Diana. So if I go to the holding folder, which is under D S M T V holding, it's the seventh today. And that's the email which is waiting to be archived. So what I'm going to do is to copy that email into a different folder because I want to just examine the email. So if I open it up, I've already configured it to open EML files in, in uh, Notepad and we can see all the X headers. And you'll notice there that it's added an X header called pre-sales. So that was done by the transport rule. So we know we've done that part correctly. So what we need to do now is to wait for the item to be archived. Then we can go over and look in Outlook to see whether it's been uh, archived uh, with the extra attribute indexed.
Okay, so the message has now been removed from the holding folder. So we can go over to the client machine to see whether it's been indexed with that extra X header indexed. So let's go to EV search now and see whether it's worked. So you can see the message has actually been archived, but the question is, has it indexed that extra attribute? So there are a couple of ways of seeing whether that's been done properly. The first one is to add a column for that extra attribute. So we can do that by right clicking here, going columns and choosing customize columns right down the bottom here. Choose enter property name. So this is a bit weird, but it's EV and then XHDR dot and then the X header name, which was X hyphen department. Also enter the column name. So I just want to show department in the column header. To check that that is correct. And you'll notice that in the department column, it shows pre-sales, which is excellent. Also, if I click here, go to preferences, I can enable advanced search. Now this has already been done by default advanced search isn't on. So just mark this show custom fields. Once that's been done, if I do an advanced search, I'll get these extra options down the bottom. So I can say it's a custom text field. And in here I put my EVXHDR dot. Contains any of pre-sales. Get rid of this other line in the search. Got to be a hyphen, not an underscore. And click search. And you'll notice it's found that one item because it's been able to search the index and find the extra attribute that we added from the X header. So that brings us to the end of this demonstration of how to use X headers with SMTP archiving in Enterprise Vault 1101. Thank you very much for listening.